Hey guys, this is Moni again from VT Magic, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a small tutorial on how to do summarize spoken text, which is the first section in the listening part. And as you know, this section is particularly important because it actually contributes marks to both listening and writing simultaneously. Hence, it is essential for you to prioritize this task when preparing for the test. Okay, so now we're going to use one example, actually two examples from ptpractice.com. Okay, <laughs> and don't forget that because I only have 10 minutes for this task, including the audio, so I'm going to take notes on computer instead of on the notepad. Okay. International expansion is also something that you've emphasized as CEO. And one interesting aspect of that has been a focus on locally produced content. I wonder if you could talk about the ways in which, in a globalized world, in a global economy, locally produced content is important for an iconic company like Disney. Well, first of all, global growth is imperative for us. Uh, we are uh, not only a very durable brand worldwide, but we're a very well-known brand. So. Uh, I think we we have the ability to uh, not just succeed, but to to uh, to grow and to thrive in many markets around the country for years to come. But in order to do so, it's not just about putting our product there, meaning taking something that's been made for another market, putting a foreign or a local language track on it, um, and distributing it locally. It's about being locally relevant, and that means. Operating locally, meaning moving our people to markets so that they understand the markets, the culture, the interests. It's also about being creative locally. There's a lot of talent and a lot of creativity in many, many places around the world, and we have to tap into that content. Just finalizing the points before I forget what I heard before. And now I can start writing. All right. In the tape, the lady was talking to the CEO, which is why I wrote the CEO mentions about the topic, which is international expansion. Yeah, and now just connecting all the dots, all the points together. And make sure that you note down all the important ideas, all main points, as well as the supporting ideas. And use linking words. It will help you to increase your written discourse, which is one of the enabling skills in your test call. Okay? Yeah, try to write more compound sentences like this one, which is a well-known brand. Another linking word here. Okay, and you can cut down what you find is unnecessary. Okay, they need to be locally relevant. Okay, always check your grammar as you go. Check your spelling, grammar, and punctuation because just a minor spelling or grammar mistake can actually ruin the quality of your content as well as can lower your writing score. So always proofread what you write at the end and during, of course. Mark it there for another linking word. I, I like to use uh, three linking words in my summarized spoken text. Okay, over word limit. Therefore, they should be creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I heard the word imperative somewhere, so I'm going to use it. Therefore, it is imperative. Imperative, I think I heard it at the beginning somewhere, so I'm going to include it anyways to increase my vocab. Okay, changing grammar a little bit. 
round Yeah, just playing around so that I can reduce my word count. Always check your word count. <laughs> yeah, and as well as the remaining time. So some people I know who don't check the remaining time end up with uh, incorrectly spelled word or incorrect grammar and punctuation. And it's a big no-no. Also check as you go. Another thing is um, try to include everything that you wrote down in, in your notes into your summary. All right, because that's where your listening points come from, all the keywords. Okay, so now we've got the completed summary and you can pause the video to reread the sentence if you want to. <laughs> and now you can watch me doing the second example. Another lecture, not the interview like the last one. Oh wow, it's loading so slow. <laughs> okay, let's try to click on it. About 20 years ago, Kent Anger and Barry Johnson came up with 750 chemicals that could harm the, the brain during development. Nobody has since then dared to update that number. It's just a guess today there has to be more than 1,000 if it was 750 20 years ago. But the problem is also that we have put too little emphasis in this type of uh, research. For example, it has taken so far the OECD, 10 years to devise a, a battery of tests that they could recommend for systematic testing of chemicals for developmental neurotoxicity. That panel, that battery has not yet been completed and, and uh, authorized by OECD. So it's taking way, way, way too long um, because it is complicated, but there is so much at stake Children are just uh, losing IQ points and losing uh, concentration span, of memory or motor functions. Uh, but in the present world where there's so much emphasis on knowledge and brain functions, this can also translate into dollars. The EPA has calculated that every time a child loses uh, one IQ point because of uh, chemical pollution, it costs society something like eight or $10,000. Wow, there's definitely more information of in this tape in comparison to the previous one and completely different topic. <laughs> I did not hear the name of the other person. So I'm just going to write Barry Johnson and his colleague. Okay. And when you're not sure about the name, don't try to to write it because you don't want to make any spelling mistakes with the names okay of course linking words and I'm going over my word count limit
I can't emphasize this enough, but don't forget to check your spelling, your grammar, and punctuation. In the 70 word summary, your score based on these three uh, criterion. So always um, leave some time or just check as you go. Yeah. I'm like 12, 13 watts over my watt count limit. <laughs> I'm like, I'm having like so much struggle to <laughs> reduce the wording because I wanted to include everything, but no. Once you go over your watt count limit, you're risking to get zero. They're not even going to check whether your writing includes all the key points, is grammatically correct or is correct spelling. So never go over your word count limit. Yes, I managed to delete unnecessary words. And fixing the word yes, of course. <laughs> How could I forget? Now fixing all punctuation and grammar. Okay. Temples due to chemical pollution causes society up to ten thousand dollars. Yep, done. You can pause the video to check the answer again. But this is the end of today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and until next time guys.